And so your, your cancellation was how we treated you, how we supported you, and how we viewed you. Today's uh, definition of cancel culture is something we want to go away. It's, a, it's an act of protest. It's a way to, to be the voice for those who can't be a voice for themselves, or it's a way to build a movement when we feel like something wrong has occurred. But what I, the reason I share this with you, all of that is done through the lens of the person who feels that way. It's not necessarily always done and, and thought out in detail. The first thing I wanna tell you is the five major privileges in no specific order is that of gender privilege, socioeconomic privilege, religious privilege, white privilege, and heterosexual privilege. But I have to ask you a question. While we want to look white privilege in the face and cancel it, have you done your due diligence with the privileges you have? to be an inherent ally for those who don't have the privileges. Because it's easy to point out privileges that have been oppressing us, but have you used the privileges you have to interrupt systems of oppression that are centered around socioeconomic privilege, gender privilege, heterosexual privilege, religious privilege? Have you had bold conversations even in your churches? Because we've been canceling folks for years without social media to say, how about we be more welcoming? We don't have to counsel folks that don't understand the isms of our faith. You know, and if you haven't done, I want to tell you that you're walking down a slippery slope. Maybe you're sitting in a glass house and we're throwing stones. But I will share with you, Jared, I have four major privileges. I have heterosexual privilege, religious privilege, socioeconomic privilege, and I also have gender privilege. Four major privileges. Oftentimes when we seek out diversity, equity, and equitable opportunities, we always look at it through a racial lens. But I, I share with you, I think we have more than just white privilege to look through when we're talking about equitable circumstances. And so the goal is that you can self-identify what your privileges are so that you can use your privilege to make level playing ground for those who don't have that privilege. That's called uh, being an ally, an advocate, and looking at cancel culture in the face and saying, you don't have to cancel me, I just need to educate you on what privileges I have to inherently use my privileges to your benefit.